Deputy President Shigadi Gashagwa has urged political leaders to tone down on the politics of witch hunt, respect the will of Kenyans in the 2022 general election, despite the accusation that by defending the mountain he is advocating for tribalism. Gashagwa maintains that this is not a time for divisive politics, but rather a time for him and his boss to jointly focus on service delivery to Kenyans as they promised during campaigns. <laughs> Yama ombi ya ya ni wewe wajua. In a mass filled with emotions, Deputy President Rigadi Gashagua showcased his innocence before the altar, with leaders allied to him seen to even go down to tears, eliciting a powerful gestures to his enemies, a move that was similarly used by President Ruto to seek sympathy from Kenyans in the previous administration. Is he taking the same route? Let us pray for the government. Let us pray for our leaders. It is my hope that sanity will prevail. We tone down on politics of division. Siasa ya kumalizana. Siasa ya furugu. Tufanyie watu ya Kenya kazi kwa sababu tulichaguliwa miaka miwili peke yake. Na hatu jafanya ile kazi wa ambaye wanainchi wanatarajia tufanye. Tungetaka tuombe, tupunguze, maneno mingi, zote tushikane, tufanyia wa Kenya kazi. Kwa sababu hawa Kenya wali tuchagua, wakiwa na matumaini makubwa sana. Na haku tuchagua, tupigane, turumbade, tupanganie, tupue na maneno ambaye haifai. When he took to podium, the deputy president urged his fellow leaders to honor the people who elected them, saying that the will of the people is supreme. The Shagwa encouraged elected leaders to focus on serving the people instead of fighting among themselves. And as we do whatever we are doing in the political space, it is my prayer that we should always respect the will of the people. The will of the people is supreme. Elections were done. President and I were elected to the joint ticket for five years. And that is the will of the people. Let us not fall into the, in the temptation of overturning the will of the people through other methods. Ashagwa emphasized that leaders should tone down politics to foster peace and unity in the country. He also reiterated that they were elected together with President William Bruto on a joint ticket and stressed the importance of cooperation in fulfilling their responsibilities to the people. Sisi ni watu wa Kristo na sisi ni watu ya kujenyekea. Na sisi sana sana tuna mweshimu sana mwenyezi mungu. Na kila wakati na muomba atupatia hekima, atupatia ujasiri ya kutenda mema. Hasa ya kuongea ukweli. Mimi zile shida zote unaona nikipitia ni kwa sababu mimi ni mudi ya kusema ukweli. And I did not know that many people have a problem with the truth. So nakuta watu wengi sana wako na shida na mambo ya ukweli. Sasa mimi niliumbwa namna hiyo. Mungu amenifunza na kuniongoza kuwa nikisema ukweli. Na kwa hivyo katika harakati za uongozi, saa ingine tukisimama na ukweli, wengine hawapendi lakini tutaendelea tu kusimama na ukweli kwa sababu hiyo ndio ile Mungu anataka. Tashagwa's statement comes just days before a motion to impeach him is said to be presented in parliament with over 200 MPs being seen to side with the motion. Ashagwe now has turned to church elders seeking for spiritual support. Hapa katika Meru tumejaribu sana mambo ya kupigana na pombe na madawa za kulevia because of our children and there has been great success. Of late nimeona hii pombe imeanza kurudi. I want to ask our security officers to make sure that the gains we have made in the fight against illicit brews and drugs does not go to waste because it was a big effort. Na kazi mingi sana tumefanya hapa, meru na kuingeneko ya kahawa majani chai na maziwa. And I really want to thank the people of meru for being very hardworking. The meru daily cooperative society is the best run society in Kenya na inatoa maziwa mingi sana na kusaidia wakulima wanalipo wakulima before the 5th of every month and I really want to invite other societies
to emulate uh, what will happen Meru. The Mount Kenya fight continues to cause political tension in the Murima region, this being evident after leaders from the opposition led by Karonzo promised to come up to the rescue of Gashagua if things heat up. Dennis Munyi, KUTV.